Hi, this is Richard with PowerWorks Inspections. With the hurricanes coming our way, I thought you might be interested in seeing the building techniques involved in locking down your sidewalls to your foundation to secure your house. And then what is used to tie your roof rafters or truss to the top wall plate to ensure that that is not removed during a hurricane. Here we're going along an exterior wall of a new construction home. It's not quite finished. But what I want you to see are there bolts coming up through the concrete. They're called J bolts. They go through the bottom plate of your wall. They're threaded, a nut and a washer is spun down to lock that plate against the concrete wall. And I'll try and walk smoothly along so you can see them spaced according to code. Now another method that is employed in doing that is straps, which we'll see in another video. The straps are also embedded in the concrete. They come around and wrap onto these plates and are then fastened down to hold it in place. This is a picture of a J-bolt. It's the hooked end that is embedded in the concrete during the pour. Here are a couple straps embedded in the concrete. These will be wrapped around the bottom plate and secured to its surface to hold it down. Okay, so before we continue on to the second floor, in this other house, I can show you the, the other method I mentioned where straps embedded in the concrete are wrapped around the bottom plate and nailed to secure it in place. These have already been uh, air sealed. Awesome. More straps. They're set along at specific intervals. Volts. Here. And then here where two wall plates are coming to an end, they've put in Thunderbolts, which are drilled down, then driven into the concrete and locked down pretty much the same method as a J-bolt, except the J-bolts are installed during the pour of the concrete. Now, if we were to look up here, this is a two-story home, and here's the top plate of the first story wall, and above that's the rim joist, and built on top of that is the second floor. And what you're probably wondering is, what is locking the second floor wall to the first floor wall? And we'll take a look outside. And what it is, it's your sheeting that goes around the house, ties the two walls together at the exterior so they cannot be separated. Okay, it's a little noisy here. There's actually tradesmen working. But what I want you to see, this is the tying together of the second story wall and the first story wall and the exterior with the sheeting and it continues on up to the very top of the house, your peak. But they're tied together here at the exterior. So again, the main point was to lock that bottom plate down to the concrete. Okay, here we go, we're on the second floor. There's a roof truss coming over to the top plate of the outside wall. And you can see a strap there. It goes from the top plate it's nailed into the side of the truss. Appropriately named, it's called a hurricane strap. And that is to tie your truss or rafters to the top plate of the wall. That's how it's done. Here's a side wall and we saw outside how the sheeting was used to tie any floor junctions together. Well, there you have it. A basic explanation of the use of hurricane straps and your through bolts or J bolts and straps on the first floor to tie everything together and to secure it for a hurricane. Thank you.